Hey guys, welcome back to my channel! Oh wait, channel! Channel! I'm just trying so hard to say this right, you guys are always talking about my accent when I say channel. I was challenged by Pretty Little Thing to do like a collab video and I love Pretty Little Thing, I have a bunch of clothes from them and they also have a YouTube channel, I'm going to leave the link down below in the description in case you want to subscribe to their channel. And I was very excited to come up with an idea, so I thought a lot and something came to my mind because lately I've been thinking more and more and reflecting more and more about sustainability, uh, less is more, and how myself as a digital influencer or fashion influencer, whatever you want to call it, I'm part of the fashion industry and fashion industry is a big part of the problem and I think all the recent events and global warming have been forcing us, all of us in the fashion industry to try to understand what's the next step, what's the step forward so me personally I've been thinking about this a lot because my job involves me promoting new collections so as much as I personally don't buy anything new I always receive tons and tons of clothes so I started thinking like how can I solve this, how can I be better without losing my job? Lately I've been trying to pick stuff that is more basic, that I can wear multiple times and also I clean my closet and I'm selling like 80% of it and by that I make sure that my clothes get a second home and someone that will really wear them. So yeah, because of all of this that I'm saying and because a lot of you guys always comment like give me style tips, what are like basic pieces I need on my closet it really seems like you guys are like starting from scratch and really want like to completely redo your closet and don't know like where to start so I joined these two concepts together to challenge myself to create an entire wardrobe with just 10 pieces we are talking about less is more here so 10 pieces only and like a ton of combinations that you can do with these 10 pieces all the pieces are from pretty little thing all the links will be down on the description so without further ado let's jump into the video let's roll the intro all right guys so here I am with my entire wardrobe so I'm going to show you each individual item first and then show you the million combinations that you can do with them and I'm gonna start with bottoms like the first item that I picked was actually a pair of jeans and I believe this from all the 10 I like is like the most essential I believe every single person I know have this piece on their closet so it's something that adapts to any style and if you don't have a pair of jeans let me know because I personally don't know anyone that doesn't and we are not just talking about a pair of jeans but a good pair of jeans because I realized lately that I had like 10 or 12 pairs of jeans and although they were cute there was always one pair that I would pick every single day but these are probably going to be <laughs> the pair that I'm going to wear now because I love them so so much they are a straight fit which lately i've been loving the most i don't own any skinny jeans anymore i love this straight grunge 90s vibe i love the rips on the knees and also really love this shade of denim piece number two is actually a pair of shorts everyone needs a pair of shorts for summer and spring and all that stuff and you could pick like denim shorts or whatever you feel like but i feel like these ones more classy are a little bit more wearable i really love the pleats here i love that they have like a wide fitting on the legs i don't like really slim shorts and these ones have a really pretty color for this wardrobe i'm going to only pick like neutral colors because i believe they are the easiest to style and to combine i really love this color and they give me a little bit of like college uniform for boys i don't know i just love them so much the third piece is actually very similar to the shorts but trousers so these are very classic suit trousers but very wide i really love a pair of classic trousers but that have the vibe like you just borrow them from your boyfriend or your dad that looks like a men's suit pants and i also love that they are very long and like the jeans they fall on top of the sneakers and i think that's very cute the last bottom piece that i got is actually a pair of joggers and i believe every single one of us needs a pair of joggers i really love the stay at home look the lounge fit and also it's not only like the most comfortable thing ever it also can adapt really quickly to other situations you can definitely wear joggers and look fancy just throw on a blazer something that's a little bit more fancy and you'll look so stylish also i love this color it's my favorite of joggers 
if I could only pick one, which is the case, I believe this grey is like the classic, it's the most pretty. And instead of picking like cuff joggers, what we are usually used to, I pick these ones which are straight. I really love them because I believe they are more trendy now, the loose fit, the wide fit is something very cool. Once again, it can fall on top of the stickers. Alright, moving on to the tops. The first top is the most basic of tops, it's what every single one of us needs. I have one in black, I'm wearing it right now, it's from Pretty Little Thing, but for this video I picked the white just because just because I think they are the most pretty, the white ones. They are ribbed, I love this. They have like a tomboy look, I don't know why, and they are so comfortable. I don't wear any bras with them, I just love them. They are the most comfortable thing. The second top piece is actually a sweatshirt. Everyone needs one of these. Whenever I get home, this is what I put on. I need to be comfortable at home while editing, while doing, running errands, doing things. I always need to be comfortable, and this thing you can use it at night in summer or in winter when you're cold I just love hoodies and sweatshirts and this one was to be like a match to the jogger so I picked this color and not to be like completely plain I picked this one that says California West Coast it has a really 90s vibe very vintage and retro so the next top item is actually an oversized white shirt I used to buy mine in the men's section long ago I love them with vests, I love them just alone as dresses I absolutely love really oversized white shirts but thankfully Pretty Little Thing has made some really oversized ones so you don't need to go to the men's section this one is like one size but it's really oversized so it fits all I love it, I can wear it as a dress, it has enough length and my favorite thing is actually the sleeves because this part on the wrist is really large and I love when it pops out of sweaters that I wear on top I just really love it the next one is also a shirt but it's a shack shirt and it's actually the last minimal thing that I have here just because it has a print which sometimes people are scared even myself to have a lot of prints because they are hard to coordinate with other pieces but the shack print is such a classic it's like grunge vintage vibes and I love it for layering on winter I just love it so much and I love this navy because it's not like the red shack that everyone is used this one is a little bit more edgy okay now to the jackets I have two jackets here to complete our wardrobe one of it it's a blazer of course oversized blazers are a must once again, I used to buy them in the men's section, but thankfully brands like Pretty Little Things started making them really oversized. And for this one, I wanted to pick a color to incorporate here on the wardrobe that is not as usual when we think about neutral colors, which is this green. But the matcha green that I love so much, I believe it's such a neutral color and looks good with blacks and whites and other neutral colors like beige. It gives a pop of color and fun to your wardrobe without being too overwhelming and without blocking you from combining it with another item. Okay, so last piece from the closet is actually this fake leather. It's like a trench jacket. It's not like a trench coat, not that long, but it has like a mid-length that I love. It's really oversized. I ordered UK 14 so it can be like a third layer on winter and really oversized and big also since it's black it's very minimal and you can wear it with every single thing but being fake leather it gives that extra touch of edginess to it so yeah I really love it, I think it's very 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 pretty. I'm going to link every single one of the items down below on the description. And now that you've seen all the different pieces, all there's left is for me to show you like a thousand, a million combinations that you can do with them. So let's style this bad boy. <laughs>
so this was it i really hope you like the styling let me know down below in the comments which styles you like the most which combinations will you try and also if you recreate any of the combinations or styling tips that i gave you just tag me on your pictures because I absolutely love to see when you recreate my stuff. Don't forget to check the links down below and also the Pretty Little Thing channel. Thank you to Pretty Little Thing for providing all these beautiful clothes that we've seen on this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel to grow my YouTube fan and I guess I see you around next week. Bye guys, love you!